I guess everybody knows where I'm going with this. Yes. If you don't know, well, let me tell you. So today I'm outside getting ready to leave. I'm going to go pick up my kid for school. The wife had taken the dog out in the backyard to go to the bathroom. Now, I had came out. I don't know, I was doing something, but I don't know, I figured I'd go mess with the dog. Then the dog goes out and he ain't on a leash. He likes to go piss on my grill cover. So I... Hey, it's never Ted! Oh, here we go. Dog gonna be sniffing, trying to pee on shit. You will not be doing that. Sniffing! Anyways... Oh, man. This is getting crazy. Getting crazy, mind you. So, chasing a dog around the yard, yelling at him and, you know, horsing around with him. Sometimes when the dog pisses where he's not supposed to, I sit there, <laughs> I don't know, call me crazy, but I go yelling, you beat me on my grill! Start yelling at him. So I'm literally running around the yard chasing the dog, telling me pee pee on the grill and he gotta get a beating like a real man and take his beating like a man. Well, the dog's, you know, running back and forth. We have a hell of a time, fun time, whatever. It wasn't until I seen him running towards the fence to the next yard. And I mean, yeah, usually when he's off his lease, he's all over the place. And all of a sudden, my wife starts screaming, There it is! There it is! And then I see this. Now I see these long legs hanging. So I'm in the mix of this bird that my wife seen the other night. And now she's screaming, There it is! She thinks it's an owl. But I seen these long feet like this hanging. And I looked up owls, and as you can see, I believe this is a hawk and an owl going at it. Fierce fight near Sarasota, Florida. And, uh, yeah, the, uh, I think this hawk was going after the owl's eggs. She claims she sees a gray and white and looked red to me today. I don't know if I got both birds coming around, but as you can see, sometimes the owl and the hawk do get confused because they're both huge birds. The only difference and the reason why I'm going with the hawk is the feet because they were bony and long. And as you can see, this owl has big fat feet. Even the... Uh, I think I've got a picture of it. Ah, shit. I thought I took a picture of it. What the hell did I take a picture of that for? Oh, that was a comment. But, ah, uh, shit. I thought I took a picture of that. I had a picture of a, of a uh, gray and white horned-eared owl. Which I think this is a small horned-eared owl. But, ah... Uh, And that one had thick feet but fur on it. I mean, the feet are bigger. But then again, shoot, yeah. Yeah, I'm going with the hawk. Because I've seen bony, skinny legs just like this. Just dangling. You know, at first I'm thinking, damn, they're small ass legs. But the thing was on the ground, literally. Now, I couldn't tell if it had something in its feet. But all I know is the goddamn thing. And how I seen it did this. And it, and it swooped very low. It's right over the fences of the other yards. I think it went like two or three yards down before it went and disappeared somewhere. I couldn't tell if it went from the left to the right, but... 
them. <laughs> but yeah, that was a big fucking bird, man. And these birds are known to get huge. But uh, either or, two friggin' days. One at night, and this at the friggin' I, I'm, I'm I'm just mesmerized of of what's going on, cause. I've had crows come in the backyard, but, you know, for the seven years that I've been working at this house, I've never had a fucking hawk, or you let alone an owl swoop in the yard to be seen. Ravens from a distance, and I mean, it's getting more fucking crazier. And obviously, due to my busy schedule, and I haven't been out doing as much as I have been, I think these birds are looking for me. I mean, due to the strong history of the uh, Indian Native Americans and these birds being their, <clears throat> you know, totems. And like I said in that previous video of Jim Morrison... In the movie, mind you. I think they had real footage of him. Of his film. Trying to be a film director. At the UCLA College. And in that video he shared. He did show Indians dancing around with big wings. And they took the feathers probably of dead birds. Or whatnot, And made a bird suit. Now, I didn't happen to look that up yet either. Indians in bird suits. I think I did, but I didn't. I wonder if the Jim Morrison film would come up. But I mean, that being said, and like I said, with hawks, ravens, and the bald eagle being sacred birds of the Native Americans. And now I'm starting to see these suckers in my backyard, man. Something's going down, whether it be that they're trying to, you know, get my attention. Or there's one other possibility, and that is the skinwalker. Because they take form into these birds, too. So, <laughs> yeah, believe it or not. Of course, I didn't have my camera out because I wasn't expecting the friggin' bird to be in the next yard over. And I mean, the I, was, I wasn't even looking. I mean, I looked around to where the, where the bird my wife said it was that night. But it never dawned on me to look in the other yard. Now, I gotta look every which way. Every which way. Now, every time I go out in this fucking yard, I gotta keep my eyes open. I mean, I gotta, I just gotta keep my eyes peeled. Cause this is getting strong vibes with this shit. And I, I feel there's something gonna big go down. I don't believe it's no death. But I, I, I with, with this shit happening, and I think this bird went and t formed in front of my wife because she hates what I do and is a non believer. But I'll tell you, that happening is just making my proof stronger. Because now she's even asked, what do these birds want? They're scaring me. Yeah, they're not here to do danger. They're here to do something, but it's definitely not danger. Me, I'm fucking excited. My fucking anxiety is through the roof. I'm just, I'm just beyond belief that I'm starting to get these birds coming literally to my finding me. And like I said, the raven came to my front fucking door over in my last apartment. Now it's the other birds. So, I mean, when these birds start coming into your life, someone had told me in a video of a comment that they will continue until my death. And where I've been doing, covering all this Indian past and all this Native American stuff. I believe my, my tale of what I'm here to do is to bring this forth and bring the history back. But not in a sick, twisted way that it's been teached to the young children through generations of many, many decades of lies. 
But and I had another bird, mind you. I was over there in Fitchburg off the Oak Street, uh, Park Hill Plaza area. Big black bird with a fucking white tail. I can't say it was a hawk, but it had white like this in the tail. Like, it was more black than I'm thinking, god damn it. It might have been another fucking raven, so. It's getting crazy around here with this shit, and I'm, oh man. What is really going on? These legs right there is what I've seen today hanging, dangling. So I'm going in the wings right there, all that white underneath. That's what I saw. So I'm not going to sit here and argue with the wifey, but... And these hawks are known to be out at night, too. It's rare, but they do. And I think they're fucking coming to my fucking yard, boy, and trying to tell me something. I'm on the path to something. Whether it be that I'm getting uh, close to finding something or these past places that I've been in. Fort Devons and Jungle Road. I think there's something more in the history than them parts of this shit that I am unleashing. And I believe it's got to do with strong Native American history. But, ah. Uh. So, like I said, I've seen this flying away this today. I mean, there is an owl, like I said, there is a friggin' horned ear owl that looks like this too. I have got a screenshot of that in a picture I've taken before, but I'm definitely going with this guy right here. That's what I seen flying away today, so. This journey's getting stronger, and I gotta start doing some more ghost hunting, and I gotta get. I'll, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna be walking the dog later, so. Like I said, last night video brought the friggin' orb through the friggin' phone very clearly, and. I don't know, man. I gotta see what I gotta keep searching. I don't stay out long right now, right? Because it's too damn cold. But I guess I'm getting a bit on the wise side. That wise side that, yes, I believe spirits and stuff and come out in the coldest, darkest hours. Because I think that's when spirits roam the best. I don't know why... I know if I was a spirit, I don't think I'd want my ass in a cold-ass area. But when it brings cold upon you, damn it, excuse me. Spirits bring cold upon you, then that, I should honestly believe. These are my own thoughts and theories that they just are cold and can handle the cold. So, of course, you got that dead silence, what winter brings. Because, right, I also believe... That dead silence brings out more of the spirit world. Because, of course, the loud noises, the, the, you know, the chaos that the city, the concrete jungle brings. And the loud, like all this, the crazy loud noises of vehicle cars, you know, these spirits are rest at ease. And when the dark comes and the night comes and it's just quieted down in the winter, people shut their windows, start, you know, locking up, bundling up. I believe that also is the main reason why these spirits come out too, because it's more dead silence. And the more you say it, dead silence to the dead, I believe they understand what you're saying and try and make themselves known, so... This is what I've been learning. This is what has been happening to me. Believe it or not, I don't care. Don't care what you think of me. But I'm getting close to something and I'm bringing forth something and it's going to be huge when I find out what it is. And these birds coming around starting to show themselves. Oh, there you go. Sacred birds of the Native American people. I'll keep saying it. Until that next video, be safe. Take care and... All you non-believers, man, you better stop believing now, boy, because this shit ain't made up. This ain't a group of people. This is one man, me. I mean, I don't know how many cameras I'll have. I'll go through, this phone's starting to glitch, too. Not this so far.
but my goddamn video in last night started glitching. That's what happens when spares starting to get strong up into the phone. Screwing things up. And that orb last night screwed up my phone. So, in the next video, look up the Native American birds and you'll see what they mean to them. And you'll get your history and thoughts and theories of mine believed. You'll believe it. Of what I've been saying. And this is before I even started looking up stuff on this. I figured it out on my own. Because it's happening. Out.